Budget troubles mean another West Michigan school district is recommending closing a school. 24-hour news aides education reporter Tony Talia via live in studio control with that story tonight. Tony? Sue, the Kentwood superintendent is recommending the closure of Hamilton Elementary along with what he calls, quote, pretty significant layoffs for the school district. No exact number on those layoffs. It'll be up to the school board to make those cuts final. The board is meeting Monday. They are two major steps toward closing a four to five million dollar budget gap for next year. Administrators say the district has lost 600 students over the last four years. The superintendent met with staff about the closure recommendation Monday. A letter went home to parents like Beltrice Barnes on Tuesday. It's a school right next door to our home, so it's so convenient for us. And then you got a lot of parents out here and kids out here that love attending this school. And says she plans on attending a meeting tonight at 7 o'clock in the Hamilton gym. The superintendent is going to be there to discuss his reasoning behind this. Now, district officials say that they hope this is temporary. They say they have a plan to quickly reopen the school once the economy improves and the district gets more enrollment. Kentwood, though, just one of many West Michigan districts dealing with a multi million dollar budget cut. And Wyoming Public Schools has recommended closing two elementary schools. We know closures in Kennewa Hills could happen next year. Grand Rapids Public Schools, which has cut 20 schools or programs or consolidated them since the year 2000 has a new set of guidelines in place that could mean more closures the year after next as well. Back to you.